For nearly 30 years, Lorena Gallo has tried to make the best of a bad situation, which arose in the wake of her internationally infamous criminal trial in 1993. In June of 1993, she cut off her husband's penis with a kitchen knife while he slept. That same night, she threw it from the window of her car as she was driving. After Gallo phoned 911, John Wayne Bobbitt's member was found, sterilized, and surgically reattached, with Gallo subsequently charged with malicious wounding. During her trial, Gallo claimed that her husband's sexual abuse precipitated the attack, with Bobbitt denying her accusations. While Bobbitt was charged with marital sexual assault and was acquitted, the jury found Gallo not guilty of the crime by reason of temporary insanity, with her spending five weeks under evaluation in a mental health facility. Bobbitt and Gallo officially divorced in 1995. Gallo claimed to Today in 2019, I don't live with a grudge. In order for me to move forwards, I have to be happy with myself, and one of the things that I have to understand is learn to forgive. Since then, Gallo has largely steered clear of the headlines, but the shock of what she did, and what was done to her, has rarely been far from public consciousness. And this is because, in 1993, marital sexual assault had only just been legally recognized in the United States. The New York Times reported in 1994 that on the night that Gallo admitted to mutilating Bobbitt's genitalia, she claimed that Bobbitt had raped her prior to her actions. This assault was reportedly one in a long line of other instances of abuse throughout the course of their marriage. He hurt me over and over again. I thought he could change, but he didn't. Gallo told the Times, I never meant to hurt anybody. I never hurt anybody before. It just happened. I realized what happened to me could have happened to any woman in a desperate situation. Gallo's defense is referred to as battered woman syndrome a form of trauma experienced by women after prolonged periods of sexual or physical abuse. Therefore, in legal settings, it's argued that those with battered woman syndrome cannot be considered guilty of a crime they've committed against their abuser. However, the validity and existence of battered woman syndrome is still hotly contested today, and its use as a legal defense remains controversial. Since the verdict, John Wayne Bobbitt has faced a number of domestic violence accusations from a more recent marriage, also receiving a 2003 prison sentence for violating his 1999 probation for theft. As of 2019, according to Today, John Bobbitt still reportedly sends his ex-wife love notes. In the aftermath of Gallo's release from her court-ordered mental health facility, Gallo ran into legal trouble in 1997 when she was charged with striking her mother but she was ultimately found not guilty of this crime. Per CNN, in the same year, Gallo, a native Ecuadorian, was invited to lunch with Ecuadorian President Abdallah Bukaram. This is still considered one of the strangest and more controversial events brought about by her infamy. Was there no crime? Yes, it was a crime. Two crimes. In 2007, Gallo worked as a hairstylist in Virginia, but by 2014, she launched the nonprofit Lorena's Red Wagon, which became the Lorena Gallo Foundation in 2018, to support and advocate for abused women in Washington, D.C. USA Today reported in 2019 that Gallo is raising a daughter with David Bellinger, a man with whom she's been in a long-term relationship. Also in 2019, she participated in the four-part Amazon documentary series Lorena, which was executive produced by Academy Award-winning filmmaker Jordan Peele. It went on to be nominated for Best Multi-Part Documentary by the International Documentary Association. In 2020, she also provided narration and executive produced the Lifetime made-for-TV film, I Was Lorena Bobbitt, which raked in four Canadian Screen Awards in 2022. In an interview with Today, Gallo hoped her story will make a difference, claiming, There is hope. What I went through wasn't in vain that this is a gift to help others.